welcome back to my channel. So today's video is so much fun. We are going to be doing a Christmas plan with me type of video as well as a huge Christmas decor haul as well as like pulling out all of my Christmas decor from years past and going through it and organizing it. So basically I've never done a Christmas plan with me before. I saw Kaylin Cash do one last year. I also saw Cass at Home did one like last week, which I loved and it totally inspired me to do this video. I'll have her link down below. And I love that they actually had a game plan. I do these decorating for Christmas videos every year. I've done them for I think five years now. And I'm just not naturally an organized person. I'm, I'm just not. So I kind of just go into it like with nothing going on up here. I just start like throwing Christmas decor around and hoping it ends up in a good place. And honestly, every year I end up crying at some point over Christmas decor because I love making Christmas decorating videos on YouTube and I like care a lot about how they come out and I want them to look good for you guys, but I never plan them. So it just never works out well for me on the back end. Now, before we go any further into the video, I did want to say that this video is a collab as well as a giveaway. So I'm collabing with five of like my favorite girls on YouTube. I have been friends with all of them for years. I have actually hung out with Jennifer and I found out recently I ran into Sky at the thrift store when I went to the thrift store the other day. So I just love these girls and they are all also doing Christmas videos today, whether it be like Christmas decorating, Christmas planning, Christmas haul. So I will have all of them linked down below so you can check out their videos after mine. But we are also doing a giveaway if you guys are interested. So a $200 shop credit to House and Home, which is Skye's home decor site. And she has the most beautiful home decor. Her Christmas collection is actually launching the day that this video is going live. And we are gonna be giving one of you guys not only a $200 shop credit to House and Home, but also a $40 Starbucks gift card. So to enter, all you have to do is watch all of our videos. And then while you're watching, make sure you give us a thumbs up as well as leaving a comment and make sure you're subscribed to all of us and you'll be entered to win. I am like honored to be a part of this group. They actually did this collab last year and I somehow like weaseled my way into the collab this year. So I'm really excited and honestly honored to be like included in this. So yeah, when you're done watching this video, definitely go down to the description and check out all of the girls. And I will have all of the giveaway information down below as well. So let's just get into the video. So first, I'm just gonna start with telling you guys what my inspiration is for this year. So I have my phone and I'll put this pictures up on the screen, but I have been loving like a really cozy Christmas. So, if you search like vintage Christmas decor, that's what I've been loving this year. I went to the thrift store the other day and walked around and was just like, oh, I just love the feeling that the vintage style Christmas decor gives me and it makes you feel like when you were younger and it was Christmas. So let me see if you guys are able to see this. You're not. So I'll just pop it up on the screen. I love this picture. I think it's so beautiful. I'm drawn to like the cream knit pillow and the... I don't know, the greenery, I love all of it. I think it's so beautiful. So that's what I'm really drawn to. However, I'm not gonna go that vintage -y in my decor, just to, to be honest, I don't have a lot of decor like that and I didn't wanna have to buy like everything brand new. So I'm really just gonna go with like the cozy Christmas decor feel. A lot of creams, a lot of wood tones, a lot of natural greenery. So in years past, I've been obsessed with flocked, like flocked everything flocked garland, flocked Christmas trees, just flocked. Make it look like a winter wonderland. I don't wanna do that as much this year. I have like a lot of this like natural, I believe this is called cedar um, greenery, which I really like. And now don't get me wrong, I don't, when I say neutral or natural, I don't mean like all white and cream. I definitely still want the pops of red. I want the greenery. I still want it to feel like Christmas. Now I love this picture. I have like a few of these saved where it's the really, um, like the cream knit stockings, the natural greenery. I love these bells. I've looked like all over online trying to find these bells and they're either super expensive or I can't find them. I saw them on Amazon. I'm pretty sure that's where these exact ones are from, but they're like $40, so we don't wanna do that. However, I did, spoiler alert for the haul, I did pick up these bells. 
and they were okay seven dollars half off so they were 350 for all of these and i have some jute so i'm going to try to make that myself <clears throat> and if I don't like the color, maybe I can spray paint it is what I'm thinking. And then I've really been drawn to like Santa Clauses, um, like the vintage looking Santa Clauses. I've been trying to find Santa mugs everywhere and everywhere I've looked, I haven't found a single good Santa mug this year. And then for some of you who have been watching me for years and years, you know how long I have hated my kitchen for. So my kitchen has like orange brown i mean they're just wooden wood cabinets with like a cream countertop but then the backsplash was so busy and i'll put a picture up here now i haven't even shared this on youtube yet but i actually painted the backsplash so many of you guys have been telling me to do that for years and i finally did it and i think it looks amazing i just painted it a white but not like a stark white i used the color i think it was bare white mocha so it had more of like a warm cream undertone so it wasn't too like pure white and i think it turned out so good but anyways because i finally painted that backsplash i feel like i can actually decorate in there this year so i'm really excited about that so here are some of my ideas or like my inspiration for the kitchen i got a couple of um cutting boards because i really like the look of when people have them like leaned up against the backsplash and they're like overlaying each other i also have this screenshot from one of miranda christine's videos and i love she always gets all her stuff from thrift stores and i think it looks so pretty so you can kind of see the theme that i'm going for i guess i really like the vintage christmas look this year i like a lot of santas i like a lot of creams some pops of red some natural greenery so with that being said let me show you what i got okay so the first thing I'm going to show you guys, I feel like kind of embodies the theme that I'm wanting to go for this year. So it is this mixing bowl and I believe I got this at Marshall's and I love how it has like, see how it's cream or off white. It has the red, it has the vintage style Santa and yeah, I really like it. I'm excited. Like I said, to decorate my kitchen this year, I have not decorated my kitchen in years past because you couldn't do much. The backsplash was so busy that nothing could i don't know how to explain you couldn't put stuff on the counters it just always looked cluttered so this was $14.99 which i thought was a good deal because this is a really big i wonder how, if it says how big this is i don't know it is a huge mixing bowl and it comes with a whisk a spatula and two cookie cutters another thing that i got that i already showed you from hobby lobby is these bells i'm just hoping to make my own little bell thing for the mantle. Speaking of the mantle, this is my favorite find. I have looked everywhere for weeks now trying to find some sort of cedar garland. If you notice all those pictures I showed you for my inspiration, they all had like that cedar garland. That's what I was really wanting this year. Well, all of those blogs, all these girls kept linking where they got theirs and they were like $120 or $60 and I'm like, okay, there's no way I'm spending $60 on a garland. So I went to Marshall's and I found it and it looks like this and it's nine feet long. It's not even just six feet, which the other ones that were super expensive were six feet. It is a real touch nine foot garland. It was $29.99 look how long this is and this is the exact style that i was going for so it feels really i want to say it feels real but i've also never felt a real one so i can't really say that but it's called the real touch garland so i'll just take their word for it so i got that and that was like my favorite find and then something that kind of goes along with that as far as greenery is i got these from hobby lobby so these are just the stems that match that i got two of them they were $5 each, but they're on sale for 50% off. So $2.50 each. And I'm just gonna put them in like a vase or I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Something. Speaking of vases, I bought this vase. Now this was $20. It's huge. And you might be thinking it doesn't look very Christmassy. I actually had this vase before. I saw Amy for it's had it years ago and then I bought it because I love her style. And I used it on my coffee table for like a year and then it broke. I think William actually like dropped it on accident and it shattered and I was so sad. So I decided to buy it again. And for the Christmas season, I was thinking that I could just take this off and just use this. And then this is more like springy to me. And then I was thinking I could just put these in here like so. 
So that's my plan for this. It was $20 and it's usually 40. So it's definitely a little pricey. However, I have already owned this and I knew I loved it and I've been wanting to replace it now for a couple of years. Okay, the next thing I got, I'm kind of going all over the place, is two cutting boards. Cause once again for the kitchen, I have like a whole, I'm just so excited about it. So this cutting board was $13 and this one was $10. And I'm thinking I do something like this or like this or like this. I don't, I don't really know. All I know is I've seen it a lot on Pinterest and I think it's really cute on like a backsplash and I'm just excited to decorate in there. Oh, and not only did I paint the backsplash, but we finally bought a new oven and microwave. So for anyone that doesn't know, I'll put a picture of what the microwave and oven look like. It's so old, it's black, the microwave's like chipping. The oven's been broken, the bottom part, for like three years now, but I just didn't wanna spend the money on it. So we finally, because I painted the backsplash, we felt like the finishing piece was getting a new oven and microwave. So that will be here too for the video. So I'm just really excited. So yes, these are for the kitchen. Okay, so the next things are some more greenery from Hobby Lobby. So this one was, ten dollars but on sale for five and then this one was 20 on sale for ten. Oh, that was kind of pricey and once again it's just that more natural look i might end up retrying these these have a slightly flocked look i do like them but i'm not sure i'm just not sure yet but i did get those and i think this would be really cute i like when i see I'll put some inspiration right here, but I like when I see little trees in mugs. I feel like I see that every year and I think it's so cute. So the next thing that could be used in the kitchen or maybe my hot cocoa bar that I do every year is just this little like stand. Next is this Santa. He was $25, 50% off. So he was, so he was $12.50 and he just looks like this. So I just thought that was really cute. I want to incorporate more Santas into my decor. Another thing that I really like, this is from Marshalls, this was $10. I really like the look of this like light wood with the greenery and then like a pop of red. I feel like that's really pretty. So I really like this. I wish they had some more. Some... Sorry if that cut off, my camera actually died, but I hope you guys got to see this. So the next thing I got was this candle and it is a winter pine. So it just has that pine smell. Ooh, that smells so good. It's a soy wax blend, a cotton wick. Ooh, that's really nice. It's the brand Sand and Fog, and it was $7.99. And honestly, the reason I got it is because I really liked how it was white and it had the wooden lid. I just thought it would look really pretty with the decor, but it does smell good, and my husband is big into candles. So the next thing I got was this garland, and this was $7 at Hobby Lobby. I actually got it last year. I'll put a little picture right here of how I decorated my master bedroom last year and I used this on the headboard. It's kind of tangled. It looks like this. It's just like ivory little pom-poms and I loved it. And last year I kept wishing I had another one. So I just picked up another one. And then a different garland that I have that I just think is so beautiful. It's like this cream colored pom-poms. They're like knitted cream. Can you guys see that? And then they also have the gold little bells. So I really liked that one and that was on 650 this is what it would come to these are really cute i don't know what i'm gonna do with them yet probably in the kitchen or the hot cocoa bar i see people use them every year and i've never been able i don't know i never knew where they were from and they're from hobby lobby so they're little espresso santa clauses i wish i could find some full-size santa claus mugs but i haven't been able to find any anywhere so if you know where any cute ones are definitely comment down below but i got four of these so that's what they look like and they're really really cute <clears throat> Another thing I got for the hot cocoa bar or my kitchen is this little rolling pin that says fa la la. I feel like my camera is not doing a good job focusing today. There we go. And this was $2. And then from Home Goods, I thought this would be really fun for William, who's my four year old. This was $12.99, and it says countdown to Christmas. And then it has this little wreath, which you can move for each day. And he's very into Christmas this year. He's a little confused because <laughs> his mom pulled out the Christmas decor in like the middle of October. So he keeps thinking it's like Christmas or almost Christmas. So I thought this would be helpful. And I really liked it. I thought it went with the theme and the decor. And I thought it was really pretty. 
And then the next thing, oh my goodness, I feel like I need to speed it up. This is a lot. I don't usually buy this much stuff. So this was $20, very, very pricey for what it is. It's just a tray, but it's like an ivory cream tray. And like I said, I want to do, I want to decorate the kitchen. I've like never bought anything to decorate in there really. And I thought this would look really beautiful with like the backsplash and the countertops. And I just like the like cut of it. And now I'm kind of thinking I might want to use it on my coffee table, but I don't know. I thought it was pretty for year round, which is why I was okay with spending $20 on it because I think it'll just be like a staple piece. Okay, almost done, I promise. So I also got a blanket. Um, I just, I get a blanket for every season. This was $19.99. These are our favorite kinds. We have one for pretty much every season and like every color. Thought that it was cozy and really pretty for the pillows. Ray Dunn, they were $16.99, but I'm planning on using it like this. So I was thinking, does this look good together? The greenery with this pillow and then like cream? I feel like that looks good together. I don't know if it'll feel too busy or not with the pillows I already have. Um, it's just a like beige and dark red. I don't know if it's the color red that I like. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these, but I got two of them. Okay, I think that's it. So I did get a couple things off Amazon. I have been wanting some chunky knit stockings for the longest time and I had never found any that I really loved and then I went on Amazon and I found these ones and they had amazing reviews and I looked through all the review pictures and so many people did that like style that I liked with like the garland and the bells and they use these. So I got these that are on the way and then I also got these. I got two of these like chunky knit pillows because I felt like that would kind of complete the look as well. And then I'm trying to remember what else I got. Oh, and then I got these because I thought these would be cute year round at my little coffee bar area, but I thought that they would look really cute for Christmas to have it like the hot cocoa station and they were relatively cheap. Is that everything? I think that's everything. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the haul. Like I said, it's a lot. It's a little excessive, I know. Um, but yeah, now we are going to go through all of my decor, pull everything out. I'm gonna organize it and kind of show you guys what I'm getting rid of this year and what I plan on using in each room. And I do want to put this disclaimer before I say anything else. And I'm sure right now your whole recommended page on YouTube is flooded with like Christmas decor hauls and all of that. And I want you to know that it's not real. <laughs> Most of us do these decor hauls every year, buy this new decor every year, go all out, every, all out every year because we're YouTubers, because we make these videos, because it's for our channel and we like to create the content. If you... If it's not in the budget for you to go out every year and buy tons of Christmas decor or you just don't want to, that is okay and that is totally normal and you can still have a magical and a happy and a wonderful loving Christmas for you, for your kids, for your family without all of this stuff. This stuff means nothing. <laughs> the reason that I buy new decor every year, the reason I change up my themes every year is because I love to create the content, to put it out for you guys, to give you ideas. But if I wasn't a YouTuber, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't switch out my decor every year. I wouldn't spend my money on Christmas decor themes and I don't know. I just want to say, don't, when you're watching these videos this year, don't ever feel less than or that your house doesn't look Christmassy enough or that you're not doing enough for your kids or whatever you're feeling because most of it is not real. It's real, but it's not. Most of us are doing it because we are wanting to create the content. So I just wanted to put that out there because um, I don't ever want someone watching my video and being like, gosh, like all these girls are, you know, getting all this stuff every year and I haven't bought a new Christmas decor in 10 years or whatever, that is okay. This stuff doesn't mean anything. So anyways, with that being said, let's get into the decor. By the way, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I got this on Etsy. Actually, I bought it for my Christmas decorating videos to wear in at least one of them. And I will have it linked down below. It's very cute. And it kind of goes with the theme that I was going for this year. Okay, so this is everything I have for the hot cocoa bar from previous years. And for the kitchen, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the hot cocoa bar 
in like the dining room like I usually do or if I'm gonna move it to the kitchen this year but this is everything I have and now this isn't including any of the stuff that I showed in the haul this is just stuff that I have from previous years now these I actually usually put in the actual windows in the living room however I don't think I really want this like sparkly um, feeling in the living room this year usually I have a lot of like sparkle and the champagne color this year I want it to be a little bit more natural, so I actually think I'm going to use these in the kitchen on the cupboards. And then, yeah, so that's everything I have for the hot cocoa bar. Okay, so this is everything that I have from years past for the living room. So once again, this is not including the stuff in the haul, obviously, this is just stuff that I pulled out of boxes. So these little trees, I actually did a DIY video on. I'll have it linked down below, but they were so easy. They're made out of poster board and yarn, and I feel like they look so, so cute. That's what they look like. Oh, oh, oh. So I want to use those, because those kind of go with the theme that I'm going for this year. And then honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this. I'll use this somewhere around the house. However, I don't want a ton of green this year. Um, like all the pictures that I showed in the beginning, I really like the look of like the cream and the white with pops of red. So, I don't know. I mean, I'll definitely use this. My husband, by the way, is the biggest Christmas lover ever. We love Christmas, but my husband is like another level Every year when I finish my decorating for Christmas videos, he's always like, oh, do you think we should get more? Like, he always feels like it's not enough. And when I told him I wanted to get rid of some of the decor we have because we don't use it, he's like, why don't you just use it in other areas? I want it to be, like, as over the top as possible. He loves Christmas. I've shared this on my um, channel a few times before, but the way he actually proposed to me was by our first apartment. He de decorated it, like, crazy Christmas decor everywhere and I had no idea he had taken the day off work decorated the whole apartment and then when I walked in to the apartment after work he opened the door for me and there was Christmas music playing there was a fireplace going there was Christmas decor everywhere it was all lit up and I was like what and I walked in and was like what in the world and then he was behind me and he said there's one more surprise, and then when I turned around, he was down on one knee, and that's how he proposed to me was with Christmas decor. So we love Christmas. So I will, all that to say, long story short, as Kimberly Wadsworth would say, or no wait, short story long, I will use this somewhere. My husband will be sure of it. He likes Christmas decor in every crevice of the house. So, also this tree. I'm not sure if it's gonna go into the living room this year, just because, like I said, I kinda don't love the flocked look as much anymore. I think this tree is beautiful. I'll probably use this on the hot cocoa bar, to be honest. But I do like this. So, the creams, the whites, the red. I really like this bright red. We have a lot of cranberry from last year, which I'm actually gonna use in our bedroom this year because I kinda wanna stick to just like the bright red in the living room. And you know what? I do like this too. What is this called? Ugh, let me think for a second. Is this mercury glass? I love this look. I actually think it's really pretty when there's like a lot of wood tones and greenery and then there's just like a pop of mercury glass or something shiny like that. And here are our stockings from last year. Who remembers last Christmas when I was going to announce Bennett's name because I was 27 weeks pregnant on Christmas and I was going to announce on Christmas night like make a YouTube video with all of our stockings to announce his name and then I went into labor on Christmas at 27 weeks pregnant so that's not how I announced it but this we've had them since last year because that was my original plan and then I have some of that from last year so yeah this is the theme for the living room once again I'm gonna put this all in one box so it's all together and move on to the next one okay guys so I'm gonna show you what I'm actually working with so you can see what I mean when I say I'm unorganized so this room was clean yesterday this is just like a random guest room and I brought all the Christmas decor in here and I've been trying to go through it for my video. Like I said, everything was in like tons of different bins. Plus I put all of the stuff I just bought in here. And this is what it looks like now. So this is why 
I'm trying to get organized. This is all the stuff I just showed in the haul. I brought it in here because I didn't want William messing with it. But, okay, I'm going to show you guys what I am getting rid of. And all of this stuff, I'm just going to see if my mom wants it or maybe my mother-in-law or my sister-in-law or somebody. So, the first thing that I am going to get rid of are these two pillows. They're just not really my style anymore. And they're good pillows. They're just on the smaller side and they are super duper red and just not just not my style but they are really pretty also these so these are from that year where i said i didn't do like any red they're kind of like i don't even know what color they still sell them at hobby lobby they're almost like a little light teal but i think they're so pretty but once again i just they're not really my style anymore honestly instead of saying that for everything i'll just show you guys so i think my mom's gonna really want these I still think these are really pretty. I just think this will fit her home, her like Christmas decor style perfectly. So I'm going to give her those. We have a little gnome. We have a Be Merry All sign. Some napkins I have never used. A tablecloth that is just a little bit too glam for my style currently. We have a joy sign. And then we have two of these little dollar stop spot trees. And this bin is stuff that I don't want to give away, but it's stuff that I don't think I'm gonna use this year. I wanna keep it still, cause I might use it for upcoming years, but I don't, I don't think I want it this year. But yeah, I'm all sweaty now and out of breath, but that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I'll flip you around. Not feeling my best right now. <laughs> like I said, I'm so sweaty. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you liked everything I got and that you're excited for my decorating for Christmas videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I have so many fun Christmas videos coming soon and I would love for you to be a part of them. And <laughs> I really am out of breath. Don't forget about the giveaway down below. All the instructions will be down below as well as all the girls. Make sure you go and check them out. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you made it all the way till the end. And I hope you guys all have an absolutely amazing day.